Good morning. It's been two days since the surgery and this morning I woke up in like a state of euphoria. Like, and it's not the drugs. Because I'm only on like Tylenol right now actually, like really strong Tylenol, a lot of it. I actually wanna give my liver a break as soon as possible because I feel like there's a lot of chemicals in me. But this is the first time since the local anesthesia on my shoulder that they squirted in through my neck has worn off that I've actually felt good. Yesterday was probably the most painful day of my life and I tried to use all of my tricks possible. Like I told myself that this is not pain, it's just a feeling. I tried to get excited about the fact that it was gonna go away and the contrast would be really great, which I knew was true and it is true because this morning it's amazing and I feel good and I feel even more hopeful and motivated. Um, but that day was rough. I would pace around my condo. I would like I was like chewing on my fingers at a certain point. I would take about 30 minutes to be able to lay down in bed, just like kind of pacing around my bed on my knees. Legit just like this. Like I have a couple of duvets in my bed and a bunch of pillows and I was trying to kick them around to make a decent nest for myself. And well, I guess it was also a distraction from the pain. It was tough preparing myself to, to lay down, which was pretty painful. And oftentimes I'd just have to reef myself right back up because the supine position, the laying down position was painful in itself. So this morning, it doesn't feel perfect, but I'm not on any opioids or anything and I'm able to like feel okay. So I'm so grateful for this. This is giving me a good appreciation and reminder for how lucky I am to, to be healthy, how lucky we are to, to not have to deal with this stuff every single day. There are lots of people who deal with chronic pain. There are lots of people who are dealing with chronic disease. And man, you gotta be tough. Because just a few days for me, it's a reminder of that. Thanks to everybody for your well wishes and also for sharing your experiences of broken collarbones and other surgeries because it's, it's really motivating and it feels good uh, to, to know that you care. So I appreciate it a lot, guys. Thank you. Check out the crema on this. I still know how to make coffee. Mm, and it tastes good again. Another good sign. It took me a record amount of time to get there, but I made it to Montreal's Olympic Stadium where I went to the INS's clinic where I had um, a doctor's appointment that was already scheduled before the crash, but I made it a double whammy today and I'm also consulting about the collarbone. Check out this view in the waiting room, not bad, huh? Then it was lunchtime. I definitely impressed myself. I felt good enough to head out. I didn't get lunch. It's good. left-handed with chopsticks. Not bad for left-handed with chopsticks. It's uh, been a decent day, but the pain is back. Uh, that's probably my fault because I was like 30 minutes late with Tylenol. But on the bright side, I made some big gains today. I didn't wake up in excruciating pain. I didn't have to take any morphine to uh, get through the day. Uh, I washed my hair, even though it doesn't look like it. And uh, I learned that I can use chopsticks with my left hand. That's like the sum of being ambidextrous, I think. So I definitely give me like two points. No, three points. I get three points for being able to use chopsticks with my left hand. I'm legit proud of that. Every time I think I'm like suffering and in pain, I'm just gonna think about that.